Hello again, and welcome to yet another exciting episode of 7th Grade Social Studies. And today we have something a little different. After your last um, assignment, where you had to write full, complete, detailed sentences, today we're going to not write sentences. We're going to merely write five words or less. Let me explain. So, what you're going to do here is for there are, um, let's see, navigation, how many do I have? I think 10. There's 10 different terms, um, vocab words or questions, if you will. You are to answer these in no more than five words. Not six words, not seven words, not eight words, nine words, or ten words. And you might say, I can't do that. I can't do that. Wait, that's five words or less. Okay, you need five words or less. Can it be five words? Yes. Can it be more than five words? No. Can it be four words? Is four less than five? Yes. Okay, do they need to be complete sentences? No. The previous assignment, 3.9, you had to write complete sentences. This one you do not. You are trying to explain the most important part of these items in five words or less. Here are some exciting examples. If you were to ask, ask to explain the land bridge theory, note, I do not want you to explain the land bridge theory. But if you were, you could say nomads migrated to new world. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. Five words or less. You notice I took out like the new world. So you strip it down to just the basics. Nomads migrated to new world. Five words or less. Reasons for exploration. Easy. Gold, God, and glory. Four words. Boom. Albany plan for union. Hmm. Franklin's unsuccessful plan for unity. Uh, five words or less. So you're going to explain the Navigation Acts, the Stamp Act, why British taxes angered the colonists, the Quartering Act, the Writs of Assistance, Committees of Correspondence, Boston Massacre, Propaganda, Boston Tea Bar Party, and Intolerable Acts. Where are you going to get the information? Well, from these notes, of course, which you have, or if you needed the filled in ones, you could pause here and look at this. If you can read my writing, you might need to zoom in a little bit, but you have touch screens, so zooming in should not be that hard. Um, and you're going to write five words or less about each of these things. Now, I'm not sure if intolerable X are on here. No, they are not. But let me tell you a little secret. Just for watching this video, I'm going to help you out with the intolerable acts. You can write for the intolerable acts. Boston punished for Tea Party. Or Boston's punishment for Tea Party. Or Boston's punishment for dumping tea. Something like that, that would answer this one. Now you're gonna be doing this in the Google form and let me point out something just like with the last assignment you did. Don't worry if Google tells you that you got zero points out of however many it's worth. It's not grading, I am. I'm just making, Google is making sure that you do it. It's gonna tell you that you got them all wrong. Don't worry about that, okay? Um, that's all. So have fun, two words, do your, have fun, semicolon, do your best. Get that? Have fun, two, semicolon doesn't count, punctuation doesn't count, do your best. Okay, there we go. That's all.